<laughs> if they want me to be blind, look, I'm not a proc comic, but... Whoa, dude, wait, but careful. What is this, a fucking poco loco? Pollo loco? Wow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's my point. It, that's my point, dude. <laughs> poco loco. Oh, where is this? Pollo loco? I can't, I can't see. It smells like chicken. Oh, it's just Thanksgiving? Dude, what you... <laughs> it's turkey and Thanksgiving. Runk. <laughs> All right, dude, lifeline, and I got my feet like this right up until the middle, right to, so you can see the, the shot. You can see my face in it, see? Is the reason you put those shoes up is because you like the bottoms of them and you want everybody to see them? No, I was just comfortable. Okay. And that's how it goes, but I guess I'll take the feet down, dude. It was good because I'm wearing pink, the bottom of your shoes are pink, but no, they're, they're you, red. Just, you just ruined it. No, it was pink. That's red. Well, they're, they're dirty, so it looks pink. Uh, it's dust, the so dust no, on the red so makes I it wrong, pink poetry. Then. So it wasn't wrong then. Dust on the red makes it pink. Um, people say that I plug my dates too much on this tour, on this uh, podcast. And what do you think? I don't care. I simply don't care. Then and I'll tell you, you this. Up? I'll tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because we barely do any commercials or ads. So I plug my dates. Okay. Wanna, I don't want to. You know how many times I hear, oh man, come to Kansas City. I was just in Kansas City. I, uh, I do it. So until that stops happening, I'm going to plug my dates. Okay. So, so I will be in Kansas City. Yes. Right. Okay. Coming up next. And I will be in Springfield, and I will be in a bunch of different places. Minneapolis and Austin. ChrisLea.com. Go get tickets. Columbus, Ohio, everywhere, dude. I'm coming everywhere. You'll be in Sugarland, Texas. No, I already did that. Oh, he already did Sugarland. He had a great time in Sugarland, everybody. Yeah. Yay. So go ahead. We love you, Sugarland. Uh, hey, and if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one -on -one session with me, Matt Delia, your boy, pimpin' pimpin' baby baby. Nah. I'm about about it. Every Tuesday and Thursday. Sign up, make a slangs. freaking flapping flippity white session guy. with white me. Dad. No, I can't say a bad Mormon. word. Mormon, a Mormon. I can't oh, say yeah. a bad word. Okay, so Mormon. We're Mormon in the first five minutes of this yeah. podcast. We're Mormon, so we don't say a bad word, so they don't, right? You can get the Lifeline Precisely. merch at lifelinemerch.com. So we're Mormon in the first five minutes, so yeah. we don't get demonetized and we don't get uh, messed up here. Is All that right, cool. thing true or is that just a thing people No clue, no clue. Say, People yeah. say it and I just adhere to it because oh, okay. I'm a well, follower. Yeah. I don't have a mind of my own. Okay. So it's all good. Um, but yeah, we're having a good time. Having and, a uh, good... Oh, I was gonna no, do it, I don't want to do that. Like we it, did it yeah. last time. Uh, I got to stop saying we're having a good time, having honestly, because time. sometimes we don't even have a good time. No, we have a good time doing the podcast, but when we come in, often I say we're having a good time, and we don't. I don't know what kind of time you've been having. Well, usually, here's something. Usually when I come in, everyone's head is down, and everyone's extremely rude to me for no reason. Today, because I called everybody out on it, the last time I was here, I said, you guys are the worst ever at greeting people. Okay. All of you made a big deal, except mm. one who was a still a rude so prick holdout. Who was a still? Which was you. I did. I, I, but I, you were doing it facetiously. Chris and Anthony meant it. Dude, they were doing it facetiously too. They were, but I could tell that they meant it. You were being facetious and evil. How could you mean it and also be facetious? Because it was like, hey, remember? Aha, I love yeah. you. That was them. This, You were like, oh, that was stupid. Aha, I, I oh, see Oh, interesting, interesting. Yeah. yeah. I didn't do it that way. No, you did. I did That's do it that way. That's why you found it so unbelievably interesting. Uh, I just think that um, you you don't have to say super highs to everybody. That, super highs. Uh, that 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 you see all the time anyway, and do text chain with every single day. You don't, but it's you do you do have to do something other than this. When someone walks, I in. say hey. Sometimes. But there are times that they I don't, don't say hey. Don't, yeah, totally. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, uh, yeah. I, you know what? I, I take accountability with that, and I'm sorry, and I shouldn't do that. And you're right. right. Thank you. No, but don't oh, be like, thank you. I said Because then thank it makes you. it sound like a big you, The way you said it is like, got my way, huh? Okay. Well, thank you. How about that? Okay. Okay. I have my own feelings about that that I have to work on, I guess. <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> so, itch. How you reach for it? And my tattoo's itch. Yes, dude. My Which one's itch. new? Let's have it. This is new. This is one news here, but I'm, I'm not done with it. It's only halfway done. I'm not going to tell anybody what it is. I didn't even know about that. I knew about that. Oh, wait, show, show, it show, the, show the world. It's a lotus? Yeah, it's a flower. That's cool. Yeah, it's very cool. And I have another one here, and I'm getting another one. Actually, at this point, I already have it because we recorded it. I'm getting it on Thursday. I'm going to get, I'm, you know, I told you I'm getting completely edited up. Yes, you've mentioned All that right. many times. Yeah. So I'm going to look disgusting in a good way. Oh, I'll say you'll in a look good very way. disgusting. In a good way. Okay. Why did you get the lotus? Yeah. No, that's for me. Oh, no. Boo. Boo.
Bo. I don't explain my tattoos. Bo. You're not going to tell Bo. us? No. <laughs> you can't get a tattoo for the world to see and then be like, I'm not telling you what it, is, what it means. No. Why, why would you get it? It's for me. Because he likes White Lotus. Bo. I love the show White Lotus, dude. I love Steve. I'm a huge Steve Zahn fan. I actually am. Yeah, he's so I funny. have a Steve Zahn tattoo on my uh, abs. Oh, that's a bad Just place for that. Just his face and then the text bubble coming out saying, hi, Matt. That's <laughs> <laughs> something like Steve-O would get. I just like White Lotus, man. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I, I'm going to get completely added up. Dude, I'm going to be a legs guy. I'm going to be a tattoo. I'm, I'm getting my tattoo. I'm getting tattoos on my legs. I'm going to do that. I so. don't want you to, but what do I care? That's fine. So, um, mad, so mad about that's it. Fine. I'm great. That's great. Uh, Steve-O has a tattoo that says... What, is that his him on his back? Yeah, oh his my back. god! Oh, wow, wow. And then he's got something on his butt. Oh, yeah, your name, right? Oh, your name. What's weird about that is how bad it is. Yeah, it is bad, but he knows that, you know, and it's fine. But like, uh, you know, that's just weird, huh? It, it's it, kind of unsettling. It's not good. Yeah, it's bad. That's real, huh? Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. that's real, yeah. Okay, well. People have crazy... Don't crazy. approve of it, you know? Um, would you ever wear bracelets? Do you wear bracelets? I don't wear bracelets, thought and I never have, guy. but I don't I don't thought about plan being a on wearing guy. them. I thought about it. You, what? I thought about being a bracelet guy. And how... That, Oops, that, the air's on. Yes, dude. Um, I thought about it on the plane. I was like, it would look really nice, just something like just dangling off me like that. You've worn bracelets before, though, no? Well, like when I was 20. Uh, I thought about just how nice it would look just dangling off me, you know? Would it look that nice dangling off of you? I mean, I just feel like if I had a bracelet on and it was like shiny, it might be like, oh, shit. He's got something extra going on. Maybe I might look. That, like you, you're saying you're going to get the cross earring? Yeah. Okay, I guess fucking jury's out. Everyone said that you should get the cross earring, Oh, me. yeah, really? Yeah, Doesn't mean I'm not going to get it, okay. but I'm just saying maybe if I was like the dangly... I, I want to be a certain type of guy and you took my <laughs> thing, so it's like, what do I do now? I could be guy who has the, <laughs> the bull. The bull. No. What about the? We talked about the gauges. You could get that. No, I, I think those are terrible. Though, yeah. yeah. What else um, is there? You get your lip pierced. No, that's. I don't want to be. I don't like piercings, dude. Do you? Nose pierce? No, I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. Are you gonna get all over the neck and stuff like to other places on your neck? Yeah, too? I will. I told you I'm gonna get a cityscape. I don't know what I'm gonna get. Maybe not a cityscape, but I'm gonna get something like that. Mm. I'm, I, I want. I want you to see me and be like, "Whoa, that guy's trouble. He might fight us." You all should of us. get. The cityscape of Loserville, not a place. Well, Loserland. All right, on your neck, so that Lo everybody knows where you're from. Imagine if I got Loserville Loserland on my, <laughs> on, on, on my neck. <laughs> Loserville Loserland. That would be the worst. <laughs> because I get Steve O on my back. Um, Population Steve one. Ones. So yeah, um, uh, yeah. So I don't know. Okay. Well, what do you think? What do I think about jewelry? What? You have two rings that are the same ring. Yeah, I like I like rings. I like the way they feel on my hand. Uh, and I like to do stuff with them, like tap them like and that. punch people in the in the head and so they get knocked out. I have one ring. Your uh, mic is unplugged again. Chris. Huh? Yeah. So oh, it obviously is though because it's sitting on your chest there. Is it good now? Yeah. Okay, how long was it unplugged? Like two seconds. I don't... My mic keeps getting unplugged. It's not my fault. So what's going on? Well, considering it's happening to you and not me, something tells me something that you're doing is causing it, so it is your fault. Or this is faulty. No, Those faulty towers. Nice stands. Faulty towers. Got so offended, felt it in his heart. Yeah. Um, I don't think they're faulty. Oh, oh. so faulty. Made Dude, I hand made them. I am. <laughs> I has a TikTok channel that has like 150,000 subscribers. Hand makes a uh, pocket equipment, <laughs> uh, and so um, th hey, this is how I make podcast equipment. Wow. Um God, I, I'm not a TikTok. Well, I, you know, I was just doing it basically. But it makes me mad. Don't flat with him. What is don't flirt with him? <laughs> oh, that's what song you're doing. <laughs> wow. You didn't know, dude? No, not well, not until you said the don't flirt with him. Don't right? flat with him. I'm not going to flat with them. That's a trend from like two years ago. Uh, bro, I'm current. Not how you build mics, you know, with a hammer and sickle. <laughs> well, that's the whole thing. They're handmade. I'm joking. Don't flat with him. I'm not going to flat with him. 
What is that song? Why are you doing that? It's like sugar in it, so fly. Not what is the name of the song, but like why are you doing that song? Because it's a trend, dude. It goes like don't flirt with him. I'm not gonna flirt with him. And then it shows a really hot guy, and she's like, it was like a picture of me like this coming out of water. No, you're not that hot. Um. So yeah. So anyway, you didn't know what I was doing, dude. That's funny. Anthony, did you? Yeah. I, yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. I know it, dude. I knew it, dude. I can you do it? Can you play it, yeah, or can we not see, play it? I mean, we'll see. Okay, we might get the monitor test. D- warning. It, says, wow. it doesn't seem worth it. Oh, okay. Don't. Here. Wow. I'm not going to. I hate it. Yeah, it's awful. Fucking oh, hell! Don't flirt with him. Look. I'm not going to. So that, <laughs> dude, you guys are idiots. You guys are idiots. Yo, it's For so the dumb. record, everyone here laughed at that except me, dude. Someone, because you're someone idiots, make it dude. And put it on. Someone make it. Yo, listen. Turn it off. <laughs> what, what, that one was funny. Was that one funny? No. No, it's stupid. Okay, dude. Dude. <laughs> dude. Someone make it like this. Put me on it. Be like, don't flirt with me. And then have me be like this. Was your neck hurt? No, dude, let me do it so uh, they can uh, right. put it in and then we'll oh, okay, put it. Okay, go, 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 I'll go. post it on my thing. Don't flirt with me. And then have me go like this. <laughs> Why does your neck hurt? <laughs> Why is that this go-to sexy thing? Oh, because I'm sexy. I'm big don't, sexy. Don't flirt with me. <laughs> dude, do it. Someone put it side to side and do it. do it for me. Thank you. Oh, fuck. The fans come through. Dude, the trends on TikTok are so bad. Hey. Ah, dude, I hate it. Or how about, how, about, dude, how about when they do... When they're about mental health and they do that? Oh, dude. Yeah. For mental health. <laughs> it's okay to take a mental health day. Yep, yep, it's yep. It's not your fault. It's his fault. <laughs> dude, how about, how, about, how, how about when... Hey, it's never my fault. It's my dad's fault. <laughs> he should have done all those things to me. Dude, here, the... the, the <laughs> Dude, I, I, I hate the one I hate the most right now is the, am I, it says 25 and 50 and they're just like, why are they doing that? Like, cause it's a woman that's like, ah, I'm 50. If you can believe it. Cause you're like, Oh, is she 25? She always looks 50. Uh huh. Right. And they're like, ha And you know, she's not 25 cause she's doing the fucking challenge yeah. anyway. You know what? When I saw, I saw young like boys like teenage boys yeah. doing it like if i was my dad in my dad's yearbook when he was my age and they had like oh, letterman jackets yeah. on and they were like yeah 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 but they had like nerd glasses on or something yeah like, all they ever are are people trying to look sexy look how good looking i am yeah but they're under the guise of like right i'm playing along with this silly challenge i know it's so and stupid i hate it yeah it's it's halloween just everyone's dressed as hot as they can yeah right you know what yeah, i mean it's yeah, like yeah. one of those things it's like i'm gonna do something silly i'm gonna be like uh wario for mm-hmm. halloween and then they just got like a yellow hat and like their tits all out <laughs> and they're just like it's me it's a me wario yeah the ones with the young guys that make me the most mad though because they're just like well yeah because men should never be doing that but they obviously get a ton of likes otherwise From, why would i be seeing them i'm not even on tiktok yeah they get a ton of likes but they're so many of them are like cringy and ironic not ironic on purpose no 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 no. the people who like it are they're like oh, that's hilarious like oh really yeah i don't bro. get that sense i like to see that shit it's so funny that somebody would stoop so low to do that shit <sighs> we talk about i, I worry trends. about young people man mm. it's sad well i think every generation worries about the youth right no they all i feel like every generation hates young people mm-hmm they're like, when I was young, it wasn't like that. Right. We had to actually skin the animal before we yeah, ate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know but, what I mean? But, but, well, but like, you... I feel like bad for younger people mm, now. Mm. Everything sucks. Nobody's going to have a job. Mm. Nobody's going to have an embarrassing video of them by the time they're trying to get a job. Mm. It's just like, yeah. yeah. Y'all are fucked. But that stuff will level out. And then there'll be a new generation. And it's just like, y'all are fucked. Oh. Okay, anyway, and should we get to the videos? You know? That'll be the most ge- be beautiful generation of all time. The that next will one. be the most pimp and pimp generation. Yeah, because they're going to be so, I don't give a fuck. It like, does go in cycles. So yeah. maybe there's hope for like Cal's age. By the time you know? we're 90, yeah, Cal's, it'll be okay. Like Cal's kids? No, no, Cal. Oh, no, Cal's age, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Cal's age. So by the time I'm... All the hope 60. is in you. All, all the hope is uh, on your shoulders, Cal. So oh, I can't wait to be 60 and shit just be leveled out. Well, don't okay, get your but... hopes up, you know? 
Yeah. yeah Cow will be like, you know, 20 and you'll be so worried about him. I know, dude. I know. Being a, being a dad is, 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 is tremendously stressful, you know? Oh, God. All right. Let's okay, do let's, up, <laughs> let's see what's up. So insecure. So handsome. Hey, Lifeline guys. So uh, beautiful. My name is Greg. And what's up, Greg? Uh, my girlfriend, Jules, is a big fan of Lifeline. Hates us. And of you guys. That's great. Sorry, it? I don't know your guys' names. Ah. Um, but tonight, we watched episode 42. And I pretended like I was going to make a video so I can come in the bathroom, which I did. Okay. And um, now I'm making a video. But how do you guys feel about pooping in a new relationship's bathroom? and not making it weird what are your thoughts i could tell your Anytime thoughts time i can tell your thoughts with a you story know. i can tell your thoughts with a story the, would you like to hear a story dude don't fly with me dude i think would you like to hear a story oh yeah I would. About, as okay, an answer then I'll go. okay sure. so when i was uh god i might have been only 18 years old mm -hmm. and I, I lived in new york i was going to school in new york but my girlfriend lived out here in LA mm -hmm. and she visited me a couple times and when I came back to LA with the first time I visited her at her like off campus apartment whatever she went to and, USC yeah she went to USC and thank you and uh but I was technically staying with mom and dad because they lived yeah. close and yeah. her she had this tiny little apartment and we had just started dating actually oh I know this story so uh I wake up early in the morning and um again new relationship had to grump it out didn't Disgusting. want to grump it out right Disgusting. next to my new beautiful girlfriend who is sleeping beautifully right next to where the bathroom is i didn't want her to know i was going to grump it out she knew i had to leave early anyway under any normal circumstance i would have just grumped it out you know okay, what i'm saying sure Disgusting and, that you're saying <laughs> and uh i was like I'll, I'll manage this home is only like 15 minutes away poetry i get in the car and immediately on the 110 i hit traffic mm -hmm. Now I'm like, okay, this is getting pretty bad. I'm like mm -hmm. looking for places to maybe pull over, mm -hmm. or go into a gas station, mm -hmm. try to grump it out in one of those. Disgusting, yeah. And what I realized is like by the time I pull off with all the traffic mm -hmm. and get to a gas station, that's only going to be like a couple minutes less time than it would be to get all the way back home. Okay. So I'm just like, all right, I'm just going to do it. I I'm committing and I'm going to go home and I'm just going to make it. Unfortunately, I'm like, by the time I'm just about to get on the off on the off ramp, mm -hmm. I'm 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 just like I'm I'm doing the thing where like I'm literally looking at myself in the rearview mirror, right. yelling at me by name, mm. saying I'm like, come on, Matt, like don't be, movie. don't, yeah, yeah, come on, Matt, like, come, you can't sit your pen, you wow. can't, you can't grump it a out Matthew right now, Perry movie, you know, yeah. and uh, I'm just like I'm like kind of standing, yeah, because like if I sit, it's just bad news, okay, so I'm like as tense as I can, you know, I'm like, come Macho on, man, Matt. Randy Savage, oh yeah, Sim to Slim Jim, and then I get off the freeway i get home and mm -hmm. I, i'm just about pulling into their driveway mm -hmm. and i'm just like i don't know if it's like the brain mm -hmm. relenting because you know you're close yeah. or whatever but it's getting worse and worse and worse and i i realize as i'm parking like i now have to move right and there's no moving when you have to go this bad of course the Poetry. first movement there she blows okay okay so i step out of the car yeah and and my and mom happened to be out front in front of the house yeah and so Prepare I the bathroom. I step, I, yeah, I, I, open the door. I gotta go to the bathroom. And as I step out of the car, it's just like, there she blows. What? Okay. But I like, it was like, just like a, like a mushroom cloud because I had to like let Ew, a little bit out, you know? And then so, and then so I was just like this, I was just like, you know, like trying not to let yeah, my yeah, pants yeah, yeah. extend all the way. So yeah, like now they can slide down. Yeah, so I'm like walking like this. It's liquid though. So and well. I finally get to the bathroom and mom is like dying laughing. <laughs> and I had to like throw everything away. But Even uh, mom? My, I threw mom away and, and I, we sold the house and everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, got rid of the car. So, no, uh, but yeah, she, the girlfriend never found out. So wow she will jokes now. on who dude i think by the way like and subscribe um i think <laughs> i think honestly that um i think that it's you here i had a friend that said texted me re recently it was maybe f a month ago maybe not even he was like hey man what do i do if i just am over at uh my i know what you're gonna say but yeah. house her house i'm seeing her and for the first time and i gotta go number two mm -hmm. he's like do you do it and I'm like, yeah, man, just do it. He did it. Texted me, you're not going to believe this. The toilet doesn't work. Oh, what? Like a Matthew Perry movie, <laughs> dude, in 1990. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Or 2002. So I'm like, oh my God. So I was like, so what do I do? I guess I got to try and fix it. He And I was like, dude, just go tell her. Go be like, yo, I, I, I took a grump in the in the yeah, toilet yeah that i didn't know was broken you should have told me like what the fuck i'm the yeah, man though yeah i'm the this man is what you right, say to yeah, her yeah. and he was like really and i was like yeah just do that who cares own it she'll think you're sexy if you own it and he's like and then he, i got a text a little bit later he's like i fixed it and, yeah i wanted him to not be able to fix it oh wow so he got away with not telling her and i'm pissed off no good for him no why no. why did you want him to get busted for grumping it out into her toilet because i hate my friends <laughs> oh okay well that no, is i don't know why i don't know why i don't know why but it's okay to do poop in your uh girlfriend's toilet in the oh, beginning well yeah totally yeah. i mean the moral of my story is just go yeah but also what's up with the dude i w he was saying wait but real quick what? i was 19 when i did that you mm. sir look like you're pushing 40 you should know by now that mm. you just gotta do it yeah. it's like what's the big deal yeah. it's like you just got humans go to the bathroom mm -hmm. what is she gonna think you never poop like that's not what a human yeah. does yeah so what's the th what's the thing yeah but the, you don't want the, you don't want them to smell your brand of poop and that is then what be it turned is off. but yeah. like that's stupid every brand uh, of poop yeah. is bad who's got like a great shit brand <laughs> no Hello? you have a terrible shit that's brand. not true <laughs> you have the one of the worst shit brands i've ever even laid my nose on <laughs> that's not true yeah, it is, dude. You, you, the thing about you and your brand of shitting is that you shit right after you eat. It's like an open vessel. It's just like one <laughs> big pipe inside your body. No just stomach. Comes, yeah, it just comes right out. It's just like an elevator? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Don't flat with me. Like this. So dumb. Dumb and dumber. I just don't know, man. Basically, I think that... You do it. Also, was the guy saying he wasn't a fan, or I think he was joking? But if he wasn't, wow, so wanted to get back to and that. That's cool. And I did. I want to circle so, back. So uh, long you've been trying to get back to that uh, part. I want to circle back. He was making a joke that he doesn't know what our names are. Okay, cool. He does. Of course he does. I know. He's not going to submit a, a, a video. Yeah. Asking about taking shits at his girlfriend's yep. house when he doesn't know who the people are. <laughs> he was pretty handsome. I wonder if his uh, if they broke know. up. If you got a chance. No, I wonder. Yeah, I want to date him. Um, yeah, all right, he's, cool. well, I think he's got a lot of leeway. With his brand of shit could be really bad because he's handsome. Yeah, because he's so handsome. If, yeah. yeah, put a, put your brand of shit on another person who is an attractive thing. Uh, you might anus, be worse off. Yeah, you, you're, you're bad. You're all right, bro. You're yeah. all right. You're doing good. Okay. So dark. Hey, Matt and Chris, love the uh, the show, love the content. Oh, I hates um, it. Though. I'm looking inward, and I think that I I think the problem is me. Oh, oh. shoot, just got even darker. Okay, but oh, shoot. you didn't start um, it out yet, so yeah, just lost in time and space. But uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, vehicles when they're when they're um, behind me, vehicles so proper, uh, cars uh, with their headlights, poetry, beat and the they have uh, halogen lights, dun, and the lights dun, are dun, dun, <laughs> they're allowed to be they're legally dun, yeah. allowed to have them that you know fluorescent uh, uh, like that blue because we're walking the blue tint. <laughs> But yet it's like you didn't want to do so over the video huh? and, and they chose that you know what i mean like and like the truck and this is i have a problem but oh, the yeah, truck no the wheels <laughs> on the side Nursery are rhyme. like sticking out they made that choice yeah you know what i mean yep. so someone made choices to this to this suv okay. they've converted this thing okay and one of the choices is the halogen lights. Halogen. And they're yeah. so annoying. Okay. Like it's halogen. just so bright and you can't you can't escape it. Oh, you can't just like you close your eyes, but yeah. Why would someone do that? Okay. Does that how do I um you know what I mean? Nope. <laughs> how do you what? Uh, that's the end pull bro. Over. If it bothers you that much, pull over, slow down, get behind the car. No escaping halogen lights. That's <laughs> that's what you need advice about? You live in large, dude. That is the least was the question, situation of was all the time. question how do you escape halogen lights yes close your eyes also the, the fucking wheels driving. that stick out not if you're driving well yeah but then he's saying if you're driving in the car behind you has the halogen halogen lights this pull pull over yeah i guess right yeah uh, or if anything it bothers you that much or anything this else guy's got sincere problems uh, or also here's what so you got to work on not the halogen light thing halogen light thing but you got to work on because like he was saying it like that oh what you got to work on is saying words in the right order. Mm -hmm. and, and not you over and over again. You don't start this kind of thing with 
I might be the one with the problem. And then talk about how dark it is where you are. And then yeah. at the very end, only then reveal what your question even is. Yeah. Hey, um, so yeah, I just got a question. Oh man, I might be the problem. Oh God, it got so dark. Collagen and the lights, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. That's the worst question we have We've ever got, gotten no life totally life. And yeah. even with the guy uh -huh. it made no sense even with that because i like that it guy was better yet. yeah this guy honestly uh this guy literally has has killed at least two people in that lot he was <laughs> parked in at the time i'm gonna say get out of my country guy even though he's born here oh wow go ahead okay. yeah i'm racist against a white guy next one that's okay sleeping what's up guys you get up to do it Dan, uh, fell. can't wait to uh hear what you guys say about my uh, patchy beard yeah. and whatnot, but and whatnot. Chris, I love you, man. Been following you for a minute. Nice. Uh, Matt, you're fucking hilarious, Thank you. man. Um, weird question. I'm watching this weird movie, and uh, it's a good movie. Um, it's called About Time. I don't know. Oh, yeah, Josh. Josh I like uh, Rachel McAdams. Anyway, right. get on with it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Um, so in time, in time, you're right. Why do the British people wear, like, um george washington uh <laughs> wigs and shit when they're in court yeah why, why? They still do that right like it's so dumb really dumb like even in 2023 they're still wearing like wigs dude i know what no, so bad way, dude, i'm fucking yeah dude, dude. Uh, you know <laughs> wow <laughs> just wanted to show the, us this tattoo the fact that there's people that are being annoying out there in the real world because of shit that we say is unbelievable yeah, you know? pretty cool. <laughs> uh, um that's the cult dude uh yeah it's ridiculous and i always think it's ridiculous. as a matter of fact i just found this out i was watching a tv show and they went to court in britain and they had the wigs on and i was like oh is this like a dystopian show or what you the fuck is that? going on and i was like they still do this also the lawyers do it too it's not just the judges it's 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 uh Dude, it's 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 actually so many more places used to do the same thing. Traditions are awful, but so many like African countries, your other European countries, Australia, New Zealand, all these countries used to do the same thing. The only one that still does it is the UK. Britain is so dope, except for it sucks because of the tradition. If it did just drop this shit, it, it would be so much better. It the would wigs just, are like, just the problem with the wigs is they're so dumb looking they're dumb they honestly should have a dildo coming out of their head like this dude that oh would dude be a you know why what? you know why people started doing that in the first place it wasn't even judges it was like a high society yeah thing. because of the fucking disgusting how, how disgusting their hair would smell no close though well, what they there was sometimes because of lice but they yeah. think the main reason mm. was because so many people had syphilis and one of the symptoms of syphilis, one of the main ones uh -huh. that everyone got, man and woman, mm -hmm. was ha random hair loss, like patches. Oh. And no one wanted it to be seen. Mm -hmm. No one, so everyone that had it started wearing it. Wear a hat. Well, there weren't hats back then. I guess there were, but like, oh, you really? couldn't wear a hat inside and shit. Hello. Oh, right. You know? Hello, um, I can't stop fucking. My hair's, <laughs> uh, well look, here's the thing. We're not gonna stop fucking, right? So, we lose an eye eh? in re really weird random places on our heads. <laughs> Wigs. That's what we're going to do. They're all going to be white. Fuck, there's hat nonsense. Can't wear those inside. <laughs> Braided wigs. Braided big wigs. And powder, you know, wow. with the rosy cheeks. Do you know what they're made out of? Because I can't stop fucking, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? No, stop fucking. We stop fucking, and then maybe the kid, the youth will grow up not wearing wings. But I can't not do that. I mean, how happy was everybody when somebody came up with yeah. a thing that got rid of syphilis? Dude, how annoying is it that they still are like, all right, is what we're gonna have go on. Uh, you're on trial for murder. I don't think you've done it. All right, I'm gonna be your lawyer. I'm gonna fucking fight your case, and we're gonna get you off and you're going to be free now let's go to court <laughs> is it straight or what is it it's crooked like this. <laughs> hold on hold on oh you can't you're handcuffed here let me get the um, so dumb like you're handcuffed in in, in court you know no, they got these the, against the thing you know where you're like that oh look in the mirror and then and the other cops are watching the lawyer do it because there it's a two-way mirror all right Let's go. <laughs> lawyers don't usually wear it anymore. Just, just judges. said lawyers do. They can. It's oh. not. 
It's not required. I like to do it still. You can. I like to do and it. And a still. lot of female and minority judges do it because they, it, it like, wow. it, sim- it symbolizes that we're all equal in the eyes of the law. I like to do it. I'm black and I, and I like to do it because it symbolizes. Wow, just taking the exact words I said. We're you know? all equal. Literally just, saying, black the, woman, just saying the words I said. I'm a black woman, but, well, I was born a woman, but I think I'm a man. I'm trans and I'm also a little person. A so barrister? We're all equal in a lot. Can you say little people? Little people is what you're That's supposed to That's what it say. is? Yeah. Oh, okay. You shouldn't say M-I-D-G-E-T. Uh, yeah, okay. You know, you don't have to spell it out. Well, uh, I do it so. I just, I actually didn't advice. know what the Little proper... people is the one. Okay, okay, relax. Either you can either call, you can either call them that or it's politically correct to either call them out or when you see them go, aw. <laughs> so, <laughs> so dumb. Yeah. All so right. next one. All right. A oh, killer. Um, a killer. Love Lifeline. Killer. Love congratulations. And based on your specific advice before, it's been the deeper for me. Um, nice. I had a specific uh, question that I wanted to ask you all. A whole windshield. Um, I've been dealing cool on and off with um, with nicotine addiction. Mm. I've been smoking cigarettes ever since I was about 17. Mm. And I was just trying to find out, based on some of the solutions that people have brought to me that have not been um, very helpful to me, what, how would you suggest getting off cigarettes and nicotine in a more natural way. Mm. Um, again, love your podcast, uh, and I'm always going to be with you, Chris and Matt, through these trying times, and uh, I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, dude. Um, I honestly think it's a lot of it has to do with an oral fixation, so start uh, giving more oral sex. Then again, what do you know because you never had a cigarette in your life? No, I know, but I, I feel like, I, you know, sweetie, oh, sweetie, I want a cigarette. And then what? You go down on her? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's... I Sweetie, guess... I need a cigarette. Or if you're gay, even better, because it's like a cigarette. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The only <laughs> times I've been able to stop smoking is is at the times that I actually want to do it. If I just am like, oh, it's because of my health, or oh, it's because of this yeah. person I'm dating doesn't like it, yeah. it, it I'll, be, I'll be like this in the corner. <laughs> And I just act like I didn't do it. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But like, So I obviously did it because it smelled like smoke. <laughs> well, yeah, sure. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Did you smoke? Yeah. And then it's over? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you don't want to do it, it's probably not actually going to happen. So give up and save yourself the anger. It does sound like he wants to do it though. Exactly. So don't quit. No, no, no. I'm saying he does want to quit. Oh, like oh, to quit. Well, oh, 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 dude. What's the, you, you, you know, the, the, what's the name of that book that everyone I, it says oh, is great? Oh, the Alan Carr book? Yeah. Yeah, that's a great book. What's the name of it? Uh, yes, what the, the name was right now. If it was good. Or oh, the, the easy way to quit smoking is what. There it's you called. go. There's a book called "The Easy Way to Quit Smoking" by Alan Carr. Is that his name? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so brilliant. and uh, apparently, I've heard like several people say that the only thing that got them to quit smoking is this book. That's crazy. I never read the book. Uh, I don't know, but I, tr- seriously, like at least five people have told me that. It worked what? on me, dude. It's weird. It's yeah, like, he, yeah. It worked on you. Yeah. It's like hypnosis in a book. What? Yeah, 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 they yeah. Just keep yeah. repeating the same thing, and then you start thinking. Don't smoke, like, don't smoke. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Don't <laughs> smoke. Stop smoking. Don't smoke. What the? Wow, that's crazy. Chapter five. Don't smoke. All right. What else? Well, who Who else we got? Sick. Missy Elliott jacket. What up, Matt and Chris? What the drillio? I live in Germany. I'm stationed here. I'm in the military. Cool. Nice. Thank you. I've Thank lived you. here for four and a half years. Been with my girlfriend, who's a German. Cool. For three years. Cool. Uh, and I love her. Oh, cute. My issue is I get out of the military in June, and then it's time for me to find a civilian job. Mm. Uh, there are, there are jobs the for me in dip. Germany, but not as many as there are for me in the United Kingdom. Mm. So my question is, should I uh, accept a job in Germany so that I can stay in Germany, which is where I want to be? But the job might not pay what I want it to, and it might not be what I want uh, to be doing. Or should I go to the United Kingdom where I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a well-paying job and it's going to be something that I want to do? I don't want to do a long distance thing uh, because I just kind of don't think they work. So basically the it's basically if I move away, we break up Mm. sadness. What should I do? Thanks. I mean, stay. Yeah. You know, if I, you don't. Yeah. I mean, maybe you, 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 the job may not be high paying enough, 
Uh, and that's okay because it's also you're in the place you want to be in. And then number two, you don't have to break up with your, uh, I mean, going out for four years. Woman you that you're in, up. three years. The three woman years. that you're in love with. I and mean, then also, um, and then also, uh, the, the other thing I was going to say is, um, I don't remember. Go ahead. Yeah, I just you probably can always go to if you can get a job now that's good and high paying. Or better paying than the one you would maybe get in Germany. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you could, that would also be true in like mm -hmm. six months, a year, or whatever. But if you start out in Germany with possibly the worst job, oh yeah, but you get to be with the woman you love. What if you realize that that lifestyle is amazing? Yeah, and you don't have to risk losing the love of your life. Like I, I don't think. See if you can. I, hack I, that. I get what you're. Yeah, exactly. Start out in the Germany one mm -hmm. because, because it's this like way you don't have to move. It's all the logistics and shit. The potential. The, in the two different spots, the best potential, the most potential, yeah. is in Germany. Seems ultimately. like it to me yeah. too. Yeah. You're so try that fought. first. Try your, that first. Your, your girlfriend. You're doing what? Because he's so moving. You're doing what? You're moving. But also, can't she move to the UK? Well, I don't know. It depends on. We don't know. We, we don't know. She might be like have a really great job in Germany. Right. Okay. Yeah. She might not. You should have said she that. She might not speak British. You should have said that. <laughs> yeah. True. She, she, he definitely should have. And I thought that while he was saying, it, he's like, he should definitely. Yeah. He should that. have addressed that at least because like, it's a very does. obvious thing that we would ask. Right, so, yeah. right. 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 I mean, maybe she's out there. Maybe she like fucking does the. She loves like the what are the the festivals? The fucking Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. Okay. Well. Or maybe she makes. Um, you know, I don't know. Doesn't know anything. Wooden, needs my help for every benches, single one of the jokes he's going to make. Wooden benches you know? or whatever. Wooden whatever benches. Yeah, Germany's wood. renowned for their wooden benches. We make wooden benches. <laughs> this is what we do. Look at this. How comfortable they are. Oh, boy. Look at this one. Uh, you could fit nine in this one. Uh, this kind of sounds... Actually, no, that sounds German. Oh, this is yeah. German. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So don't fuck with me, actually. Okay. All, All right. right. Next, next one. Mario Lopez. Hey, man, Chris. Long time listener. First time caller. Um, wondering about... Um, elevator manners. Uh, um, yeah, okay. When you're going up in an elevator and just one stranger uh, hops on that ride with you, are you supposed to chat with them? Shoot the breeze, small talk, all that stuff. Um, I work in an office on the 15th floor, and I generally hate when people try talking to me. Yeah. Not a fan of small talk. Not a fan of, I don't know, just giving information to some random yeah. person. Um, but it seems like a really common thing, at least where I'm at. Um, I usually try to keep headphones in to avoid that yep. at all costs. So, yeah, what do you guys think? What's the best way to do that? Should I be more sociable? Try to converse with, with random folks? No, or, you don't have to. Do they I have it. Mind their all right, business? look, here's what you do. Love dude. you guys. Thanks, Thanks so much. Right, so when you say both of you need to relax. Why? Because it's who cares? Just do it for the amount of time you're on there. Like, don't worry about it. Just get on the elevator. If someone talks to you, just be like, uh huh, yeah. And then that's it. You don't have to look, be like, oh, I got to put my headphones. Oh, I got to pretend I'm texting. True. Oh, I got to pretend I'm on the phone. Like, true. Th that takes up too but much. That's is, a waste. That is true. But I wish that I wish that I was not famous sometimes so I could just be like, I don't speak English. You can do that. You anyway. can do that. And that would be awesome to do it. Sorry, I don't speak English. You can I do that. I know anyway. no words except for these ones I'm about to say. I cannot talk to you here in elevator. That's like the joke in that uh, episode of The Critic. Remember that? We laughed so hard. No. He gets into his. Uh, taxi cab uh -huh. and he says like a bunch of directions uh -huh. and and the cabbie turns around and in perfect english he's he's like pakistani or middle uh -huh. or something but in perfect english he says read the sign and it's just oh uh, the driver only knows three words oh yeah i, I read the sign yeah read the, read the sign. sign yeah okay wow so mad no, no that's great okay <laughs> <laughs> that's cool i mean john lovitz had a cool cartoon i guess wow, but, wow, uh, wow. no but uh, i you, oh, this is what you can do and this is the most gangster thing you can do okay you're in the elevator or you're somewhere somebody comes up to you and talks to you without doing anything different you just look at them and say sorry i'm on the phone <laughs> i mean you can do anything you can be go, rude go like if this. you want yeah go. yeah uh-huh yep yep actually yep. you know what you could do that no that's crazy because they could think okay. they would think i see just he has some technology thing i don't see right it. Yeah, no, that would actually work if you okay. like if you do that with confidence. Like that this. that would work. They go like this, and they say, "We're well, talking about." Be like, "Yeah, you go like this." Technology moves much faster than you think, <laughs> just like that, with nothing in your hand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Hey, Chris. Hey, Joe. Hey, Matt. So hopefully you guys can help me with this problem. 
that I've been having because honestly, I'm at a loss at this point. So any advices would be very helpful. I know, I know. So I just moved into this new place and the neighbors right next door to me uh, have this exotic bird. Oh. oh, it showed up right on cue. I don't know if you can hear that, yep. but it's going off right now. It's incredibly loud. Um, I mean, the walls kind of dampen the sound a bit, but it's so quiet oh, otherwise no. around here that it's so freaking loud when it goes off. In addition to that, they also have this muscle car, which they oh don't actually use. God. They just uh, every once in a while rev it up. Oh and it's just like so obnoxious because whenever they do that, then it kind of riles up the bird and it's just annoying. So the latest I've heard this bird make noise is like 8.30, maybe nine o'clock at the very latest. Okay. Um, the bird but the usually time. it's going crazy in the afternoon. Luckily, I'm gone most days, so it doesn't matter. But it just gets annoying sometimes when you're trying to have some peace and quiet, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Also, for a little bit of context, so many takes. Um, all the neighbors pretty much hate these guys. Mm. They're like yeah. the most hated people of course, no in this shit. area. And people have called the cops on them, and the cops have never done anything. The bird cops come. So that's kind of where the I'm at. And, you know, badges. I'm always trying to be positive about things and trying to understand that everybody's My going freaks. through their own stuff. Um, but it just seems so selfish, <laughs> uh, in my opinion. Anyways, help me out. Put the bird in the car, drive the car off a cliff. <laughs> put the guys, put the bird in the car, put the guys in the car, drive the car off the cliff. Uh, the car thing I can relate to. My neighbor, who is a prick, mm -hmm. has a an old like vintage mm -hmm. vehicle that I don't even want to call a car because mm. he doesn't ever drive it anywhere. Mm. But he does just rev it once every week or two because it's like he's got to like keep it fresh. That's stupid. It's like you don't take it anywhere, you dickhead. I don't uh, I just. But the bird thing is like, dude, that is. You got to be such a titanic asshole just, to yeah. get a an loud exotic bird when you live in an apartment Full building. Full stop. It, you got to be a gigantic asshole to have a bird. Uh, period. If you live in seclusion, though, like fine. But I if guess. you live among people very in very close quarters, you're such a dick, dude. Yeah, you are a dick. It's like, I, it makes you want to cry. Like, how could you be that bad of a person? Mm -hmm. What the fuck is wrong with you? Show this to your neighbor, yeah. Billy Joe from Green Day. What the fuck is wrong with you owning that bird? Also, you're ruining life for everybody. Also, you know, with the car, it's I think it's fine with the car if you're going to drive the car. If you're not going to drive of the course. car, you just rev it. It's not cool. Look, I have a throat mobile. Okay, there what, is no what what, what? I have uh, my car's throaty. When I started, what is that? well, that's not a thing. <laughs> that's what it's called. Well, I call it that. Nobody's ever said throaty. Do you guys know what throaty is? I know it just because he's said it. Uh, my car is the throw mobile. Okay, so you made it up. Okay. But I drive it, dude. And my car is very cool and I drive it. Okay, so now, see, what you did was you only wanted to talk about that you have a cool car. No. Okay? It's not what I wanted because to do. Because it's not anything saying, like what he was talking about. I have a throw mobile and what I do with it is drive it. I don't just sit there and rev it. That's awful. If you're sitting there and revving it, you're just being an asshole to the people around you. Right. Uh, but when but I their turn reason it, is to keep it fresh and up. It doesn't get old. It doesn't get like... What that's you, fine. What do you call it? Yeah. But just drive it. Yeah, leave. I agree. I mean, I agree. Yeah. I have a throat mobile and it's a fantastic vehicle and I only turn it on to drive it. And as a matter of fact, whenever I turn it on to drive it, I still feel bad. Oh, because it's, it's so too loud. loud. Yeah, get rid of that car. I also have two modes. One can go quiet mode, one can go large mode and I go quiet mode a lot. Large mode? <laughs> <laughs> that's not what it's called. Large I know mode. That's you know? What I call Is it, it really though. quiet mode though? Quiet mode and Why do you ever mode? not be in quiet mode? I don't. You're always in quiet mode. Pretty much, unless I'm on the open fucking freeway and I'm just killing it. Boo. It's a throw mobile, dude. You got to fucking take advantage. Boo. Senator. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, cool. Let's do it. Next onesie punsy. No. Hey, guys. We're talking. Uh, I want to start off by saying thank you so much for everything, for all your hard work, all your advice. It's been wildly helpful. Yeah, yeah thank you. Uh, Chris, you got me through some messed up stuff. Oh, sorry to hear you it. You got me through high school. Uh, never failed to put a smile on my face. Oh. So thank you so much. Um, thank you guys. Happy to be here for you. Uh, so, uh, I'm officially 185 pounds down. I've lost almost 200 pounds. Completely changed health wise and especially physically. Oh my. Uh, prior to losing the weight, people were really awful to me wow. sometimes. Damn, I, hate I that. mean, like. I bet they're kissing your ass now. Awful. Said the most ruthless, evil, out of pocket stuff. Yeah. Damn. Um, and a lot of it became kind of drilled into my yeah. head. 
uh, and I started to believe a lot of it mm-hmm. and often still do. Mm-hmm. And because of that, I'm horrible at receiving and accepting compliments sure. to the point where I'll just be like, you're lying. Oh, or, yeah. Okay. No. Mm-hmm. When somebody compliments me or says that I'm pretty, for example. Mm-hmm. And that's awful. And it's super rude. And it's invalidating. And uh, it's not me. And um, it's just trauma. Mm-hmm. So deeper. Yeah. <laughs> so if you guys could help me be a little bit more or try to be a little bit more receptive to these compliments, I would really appreciate it because I don't want to come across as a jerk. Yeah. Thank you. All right. The the negative stuff is drilled into your head because you thought those people meant what they said and it hurt your feelings. You thought they meant what they said because they said it. People are giving you compliments now. You can't just decide that the people who are mean meant it and the people who are nice don't mean it. If people say things that are mean and mean it, when they say nice things, they definitely mean it. So take the nice thing and keep it and let it lay on you just like you do with the mean stuff that they were saying before. It's all the same value. Like you just, you're just like discarding it because the stuff before was negative. But the things people say, whether good or bad, need to carry the same truth value. Otherwise, it's inconsistent and that's just not fair to yourself. So you have to remind yourself that that holds as much weight as the stuff that hurt before. So let that shit make you feel good because they mean it. They're not saying it just to, they're not saying it for any other reason than, than, than they mean it. When you popped up, I said, now we're talking because uh, I thought nice things. So yeah, she's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, that's true. You're, that was very astute and um, you know, I would have said that, but probably a little bit better in a better way. <laughs> uh, I think that that's really, really, that's it. I mean, we we are geared to see, to think the negative shit. You know, mm-hmm. it sucks, but yeah, you're right. Actually, that helps me because you know, people. I don't know. You got to let it all in. Either let it all in or let it. Or don't let it in. You know, but they're not. You don't let people tell you how you are anyway. You got to know how you are, which is a very sweet. You seem like a very sweet, caring person. And um, and that's who you are. So fuck these motherfuckers. Both ways. You're you. That being said, it does make sense that you, that the harmful, hateful ones that really hurt stick with you because we're still animals and animals are wired. Memory is a direct descendant of pain. Pain creates memories because when you are hurt, you just think, oh, I don't want that to happen, happen again. again. Yeah, and you're so it's you worth stay safe. investing energy in remembering not to time. have that thing happen. Oops. Right. And uh, a good thing is just naturally less important to survival to because you don't need it to keep living. Not about survival. Oops. But in this case, we've evolved far enough that it actually is necessary to your survival. Right. You need to remember the good things to have a life that you enjoy to feel good about yourself because it's true. It's not some bullshit you're making up. These people actually think it, you know? It's Mm -hmm. because it's just true. They're just observing, you know? Yeah, I'll go one further. The people that are saying the awful things to you, they don't even mean it because they're more upset with themselves. Anybody Less says, likely to mean less it. Less likely, yeah. yeah for but sure. But anytime you, someone says some hateful bullshit, it's because of them, dude. It's because of what they're going through. Yeah. What kind of person sa- looks at someone and says, yo, you're fat. Somebody who's upset at the world or themselves. Yeah, otherwise, why would you It has nothing to do with you. Why would you say that yeah, to somebody? Yeah, there's no reason. You know? You're pissed. But yeah, I get else. it. And my heart goes out to you. That's rough to deal with. You you know, you being uh, traumatized in that way. You know, everything that isn't nurturing is trauma. That's what some people believe. But um, yeah, so people doing that traumatize you over a long period of time. And now it's hard to take a compliment. You're not... This is all normal stuff. Yeah. But you're a unique individual. And, uh, and let that... Let that sink in. Let that, let that dabble do you. You know what I mean? No, you okay. ruined everything you said. That was beautiful. <laughs> All right, well, who's next? And let that dabble do you. What's up, Matt and Chris? This is Nate here from Central Minnesota, land of ten thousand lakes. That means Chris, I'll be seeing you April first, baby. Oh well, well, yeah. Hi, so Chris, my question that revolves around anxiety and job interviews here. So, um, oh, leaving? I'm just I'll finishing up nursing school here and, um, I'm going to be starting some interviews with some hospitals. And so one thing I do know is that they'll have a panel of roughly eight or so people and, um, and you, so sometimes you just feel like you're under a microscope and that gives me crazy anxiety and everything that makes me qualified kind of goes out the window. Uh-huh. So my first question is, um, how, how do I deal with the preliminary anxiety leading up to an interview? 
with the hospital. And my second question, probably most important, is how do I reframe my mind to put me on a level playing field with some of the interviewers so I feel comfortable and I can really show who I am, you know, to get the job? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. I used to know. I uh, what, what good advice? I forgot. Uh, I used to know how to do this and I forgot. Those people, they're intimidating to you because you are the outsider and they hold the key oh, to the future that you want. Okay, you want to go? No, go ahead. Uh, but they're just like you. They just happen to be on that side of the table. What I'm saying is the more you realize that that person is the same as you in terms of value, it's not that hard. When we go into an interview like that where the stakes are high and their decision about us is like a big thing in our lives, we tend to think that they hold some power over us, but they actually don't. If you want to reframe your mind, that's all you really need to realize that those people, all eight of them, five of them, whatever you said, are all just the same as you. They're just on the other side of the table. You, here's what people don't realize. You've already won because when I realized, I used to do auditions, it's the word. I haven't gotten more jobs than you'll ever not get, okay? Right. I used to not get jobs because I would go in and I'd say, they're seeing so many guys, how do I know I'm right for the part, this and that, that and this. They, what I, when I realized this, it changed not only how I felt about doing it, but also the job, I would get more jobs. They want you, the other side of the table wants you to be the person that so badly, they don't want to have to sit there and keep interviewing people. They want this job interview to be the last one. They want you to sit there. They want you to come in and they want you to be like, oh, fuck yeah, that's the guy. That's already what they're thinking. So you're playing with house money, baby. And once you realize that, you've already won. Okay, because people go to job interviews and they're going, they're all going thinking what you're thinking, whether it's conscious or subconscious. But if you go in and you actually realize, oh, they want me to be the guy, you're already the guy, dude. You've got such a leg up. That's it. When I started going into auditions and I was like, oh, dude, they want the guy. They want me to be the guy. Yeah. I'm going to walk in and I'm going to do a hell of an acting job. If I had to play a pirate, arr. Oh, my God. Do you oh, know what I mean? Oh, yeah. shit. She's fucking wild. Right? Okay, Imagine yeah. me saying, walk the plank, matey. Or if they want me to be British, hello, governor, what's going on? <laughs> if they want me to be blind, look, I'm not a proc comic, but. Whoa, dude. Wait, but careful. What is this? A fucking poco loco? Pollo loco? Wow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's my point. It, that's my point, dude. <laughs> Poco loco. Oh, where is this? Pollo loco? I can't, I can't see. It smells like chicken. Oh, it's just Thanksgiving? Dude, what you... <laughs> it's turkey and Thanksgiving. So what, what, you, what you need to do is realize you've already won and you're the guy. Dude, I'm basically that guy who talks like this and has Tony a big Robbins? face. Yeah. Yes. Um... Yeah, yeah, and they want you. This is how you know they want you to be the guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, just to put a cherry on top. Mm -hmm. No one really wants to be anywhere, and certainly no one wants to be at work. Yep. They want to go home. Yep. Give them a reason to go home, or at least give them a reason to check out, mm -hmm. so they don't have to listen to the other people who come in. Go, go in, sit down, and be like, "You guys can go home." And they say, "What?" Is there yeah, exactly, mm. exactly, yeah. Take a long sip like that. <laughs> <laughs> Spill a little bit, and then before you get to it, say, do you guys have a napkin or something like that? Wow. Wipe really, it. You really milk it. <laughs> Wipe yeah. it, and then be like this. I'm the guy. And then go like this. <laughs> <laughs> so, as far as you can until the door. And if you have to keep scooting a little yeah, bit, go your, all the way to the door, and then yeah. get out, and then leave. The only thing about that is that if they don't have a rolly chair, bring your own rolly chair. Yeah, or yeah, have yeah. your own rolly chair. Just outside the door. So yeah, if you yeah. walk in and see they don't have a rolly chair, say one second. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, shit. Guys, um, actually, be right back. Yeah. Or bring a buddy. Yeah. Bring a buddy to carry you? To bring the rolling chair in. Oh. Right? And then just. Like this. You look at the chair and say. <laughs> like and then, this. Hey, guys, go home. This is how it goes. Go home. You guys have a napkin? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> wow I mean this is really hey pushing. yeah bring the roller chair in <laughs> thank you <laughs> paraplegic
Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Carrying a big marlin, what you just did. What? Carrying a big marlin. Marlin? <laughs> like a big, Stupid, like a big fish, like a big fish. Dumb of all things. No, well, I'm smart. I'm not dumb. So, okay. So, it's not, so what I said wasn't dumb because I'm not that. Do you imagine watching that happen? I mean, I would be crying. I would be out of breath and then I would die. <laughs> But people with no sense of humor that like just work for a company, they'd just be like, "Is it okay?" Or, yeah, they would be saying words before he got in. to the next thing. You know? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, all right. Oh, he's got the job. And then just like, who who was that one? Yeah, we, you know, got the, he's got the job. Yeah. He's gonna be great here at yeah. Kaiser Permanente. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. That was good. We got it. Yeah, we did it. All right. Thank you very much for Lifeline. ChrisLee.com for tickets. Minnesota, Austin, Texas. I'll be there. MattDaily.com for one-on-one -on -one sessions. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Wee! Bim, 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 bim. Bye, bye, See you guys. Like Bing and bong. subscribe, dude. Bing bong. Pump the algorithm. Bing bong.